Whatever they happen to be doing, most kids usually manage to stay on the right track. In other words, when they do something, they do it sensibly. <laughs> most of the time. There are other times when kids can be pretty silly. When kids do silly things, you might say they're on the wrong track. Some of the silly things kids do don't cause any real damage. They're just silly. Nobody is hurt and nothing gets broken. However, there are other silly things that put your life in real danger. And maybe make somebody else risk his life to get you out. You may get away with it if you're lucky, but you can't always count on luck. Some silly things do cause harm. It may only be a minor thing, like blowing a ball game. Sometimes, silly things can do more damage than that. Look at this silly character, for example. Oh, it may look funny at first glance, but think about what's going to happen unless somebody puts him on the right track in a hurry. First of all, he's going to hurt himself, maybe badly. And when he does land on his ear, it'll be here, right smack on top of a friend of his who could be crushed when he falls on him. All of a sudden, it's not so funny anymore. In a lot of ways, this is like some of the silly things kids do around the railroads. They hurt themselves. They damage property. And they hurt other people, sometimes seriously. Sometimes, people could even be killed. And the funny thing is, it's not tough to understand why kids do things like that. This fellow, for example, He's just trying to improve the view from his treehouse. He doesn't see anything wrong with what he's doing, even though he's off on the wrong track. There are reasons why people like to hang around railroads, too. First of all, trains are important. They carry all kinds of things. Everything from cars to coal, lumber to build houses, fruit, pipes, chemicals, even trucks that carry things inside them. They carry people people working, and people just riding. And besides that, trains are, well, interesting. They're fast. They're big. They've got a good, loud roar. And they're dangerous. They're good things to stay away from, even when they're standing still. Of course, it is fun exploring. In fact, it's natural to want to explore. Only, you never know what to expect when you're exploring. Columbus was looking for a shortcut to India and discovered America instead. You may be looking for a shortcut home through a railroad yard and find a shortcut to the hospital instead. Because, well, you never know what to expect. Come on here. A train that's standing still looks safe enough. Sure. If it keeps standing still. Only you never know. Any train can move forward or backward at any time on any track. In a way, a broken leg is almost lucky. Around railroads, you could lose the leg or your life. This way, all you lose is a couple of months lying around in the cast. Railroads are the world's most dangerous playground. Of course, it is fun trying out your balance, sure. But you don't have a net under you. And those rails are slicker than any tightrope. The rails are hard, too. 
You never know how hard until you've lost a few teeth against one or clunked your head and been knocked cold. There's another thing about railroads. You get to talking or laughing or just thinking about something else. And you may not hear a train coming. And today's trains go so fast that the engineer may not be able to stop in time, no matter how hard he tries. And if walking along tracks on the ground is a silly thing to do, walking across a railroad bridge is twice as silly. Remember, trains are fast, real fast. If you're racing against one to get off a bridge, you're on the wrong track. Racing a train anywhere is silly. At a crossing, wait for the gate to go up or the signal to change. And incidentally, a crossing is the only sensible place to cross a railroad track, and only after looking in both directions to make sure it's safe to cross. You're old enough to know what killed means. You're old enough to know what it means to lose an arm or a leg or have an eye put out. And don't think it can't happen to you. He didn't think it could happen to him either. Neither do the hundred kids who get themselves killed or hurt badly every year. Sure, you want to be brave. Brave? Not a show-off. A brave man takes only the risks he has to. You see what you've got to gain and what you've got to lose. You'll figure it out, and you pick the right track. If you're in the middle of a gang of tacklers, nobody thinks you're a coward if you call for a fair catch. That's smart football. It's smart football not to get tackled when it's not necessary. Just putting yourself in danger doesn't make you a hero. This character is in danger, but he's not being brave. He's just being silly. And remember, it's not only himself he's endangering. That's the way it is when you leave things on railroad tracks. First, you can get hurt just by being there. And second, you're looking to hurt someone else. Something on a track, anything, means trouble. What happens with a model train can also happen with a real one. A switch is an important thing on a railroad. It's not there to be played with, but a switch is interesting. It has lots of parts with spaces and openings between all of them. Some kids like to poke things down into these openings. Maybe that's natural. It is sort of fun poking things down into holes. Stick something into a railroad switch, and you'll jam it. Lucky nobody monkeyed with that switch. That's a real train with people on it. Always think about those people you can hurt or kill. That's why doing something like this is so silly. Some kids even use BB guns or rifles on trains. That's not silly. That's plain stupid. And besides, maybe killing someone. 
You're not even proving anything. Who couldn't hit a train? The good shots aim at harder targets. Now, the same thing applies when you're just throwing something. Oh, I bet you I could, too. So he can hit a train. Big deal. Of course, everybody does like to throw things. It comes naturally. But throwing a rock at a train is different. Remember the people. Even if it's a freight train, there are people. It may not be your father in that cab, but he's somebody's. And if it's a passenger train, you might even hurt somebody's mother, or a lot of mothers. With that one small rock. How? Think about it. You can throw pretty hard. The train is coming awfully fast. Add those together, and any rock could be deadly. First of all, you'll get caught. And don't kid yourself, you will. Much more important, a man can never grow a new eye. Every year, many men who work on trains suffer eye injuries, just that way. You can never tell what your rock will do. No, he's not your father, but does he have to be? Well, you know that this boy won't ever throw a rock at any train anymore as long as he lives. That includes any train your father may be riding on. It'd be nice if everybody returned that favor. No one's saying you shouldn't throw things. Sure you should. The right way. Sure, you can look for shortcuts and explore, but not around railroad tracks. Oh, look at trains, sure, but safely. If you'd like to see trains close up, Mention it to your parents, your teacher, or your scoutmaster. The railroad will be happy to take a group of you around and show you what trains are like. Real close up, and safely. Just with other kids, stay away from the tracks. Even on a dare. Ah, oh, you're just chicken. Don't like being called chicken? Well, if you really want to know, only a chicken is silly enough to play around the tracks. But don't get yourself out on a limb by doing something silly. takes is a little sense, a little figuring it out, to get yourself on the right track. The railroad track is the wrong track. People with more sense than little chickens know that. They know that the only right track is away from the tracks altogether. <laughs> <laughs> 